Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. This Power BI video is second in the series where we are discussing 10 powerful functions in Power BI and we have discussed closing balance of the month, closing balance of the quarter, closing balance of year and we have also discussed EO month and last non-blank value with that in the last video and we had these uh, relationships in the there so we have these target tables which are monthly table which is only having month data quarterly table only have quarter data yearly table having only yearly data and we have told you last time that we are going to join with the end date because we have this function closing balance of quarter month and year which is actually going to take the day it from the last date of the month and that's why we are joining it here and again in this uh, video we have joined it with the start dates but these are all inactive joins we are going to discuss opening balance of the month opening balance of quarter opening balance of year along with parallel period and first non-blank value but our, all our joins which are still on the end date are active and we are going to explain you why they are active just a quick look that we have we got data in this particular format where we never had the dates and we added the dates and you go and watch our last video how we got these dates and how we have used EO month to get the end of month date quarter date uh, so pretty important just go ahead and watch that so what we have done in this video is quickly we go to this op month and uh, we before that we have actually activated the joins on the start date and try to find it out because the definition of the opening balance of the month is that is going to give us the first day data but what we found out finally it is not the first date of this month it is basically the end balance of the last month and if you look at this is still our end date join is active and we are getting this is as the opening balance ideally we should not have got because our data is only on the 31st of january so we should not have got any number out here and you can see this is the number here so ideally if it is taking the first date of the month it should not have any data so typically what happens in the inventory world we have this end of inventory of last month is the opening of inventory this month so that's where these functions are coming from so the opening balance is basically the closing month balance of the last month and that's where you see these numbers are matching and as usual we have this number repeating for the complete month and that's what we wanted if you have seen in the last video that we wanted this month number to repeat then we calculate MTD and then we keep on increasing our achievement percentage but this is what we cannot do right now with this one so the huge is what we have said is okay Closing balance is giving us this month's target, opening balance is giving us last month's target so we can choose use it in MOM target change percentage and that's what we have actually done here. So we have find out what is you know this change or uh, MOM target change. So what we have done is we have not marked it percentage but this is the formula for the change percent only. We make it percentage column then it will display in percentage. Now how we have got this opening balance very simple function so we have this OP monthly and this is again you give opening balance it required two things one is what major you wanted to give and then second one is the date parameter which is continuous date again to provide continuous date we are using our date calendar which we have created in the last video. Now so we understood now that opening balance is going to give us the uh, last month's last date and we are right now using it as the uh, last month data so what we are simply saying okay closing balance of uh, this quarter is this quarter and closing opening balance of this quarter is last quarter's end date and then we have used it actually as to calculate the change percentage and you, if you can see here we have actually simply plotted it by month now quarter the things are typically remain going to remain same the only thing is changed is opening balance of the quarter is that we are using the function opening balance of the quarter again quarterly target and date and if you remember we have target only at the end date and this is what again started repeating again we have used this one as a opening balance as the last quarter data and we have actually calculated change percent this is how we have used we have not have the inventory data right now so for in this data which we are trying to have the sales target data so we have used it like this similarly for year not much of the change you will see we have this number only at the end of the year so we keep on scrolling down still more 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 and yes okay so this is the date we have this data which is target and this is year and this is again opening balance of the year so again we have used it as a achievement percentage for this one so fine it's so not for achievement yoy and yoy would be null actually for the last year and then achievement percentage was that's what we have used with the cb we keep on accumulating our ytd and then uh, 
at the end we will get how much actually we have achieved with the YTT. So this is how we have used all these three functions and we have explained you how to use it. So basically opening balance is nothing but the last period, whichever we are using month, quarter, year, uh, last date's uh, value and that's how we use it, pretty powerful function whenever we can use it. Now what we have done is the thing which we want to repeat is we have used last non-blank value and we have went ahead and this time used first non-blank value. So we have went to the FP month and there we have actually went ahead and changed the join because we need to want to push the data on the first date and that's where we say first non-blank value and take the dates and go to the first date, take the monthly target from the minimum date and then we use this all except month year and values month so that for each month we keep on getting the date date value because otherwise first non-blank value will go across we are not putting any date filter error everything it can actually travel across so we are stopping that traveling by using all except and then we are using these values so that we know it it is every month it is the we are creating that window for every month uh, it happened month by month only it should not happen anywhere else so this is how we have done it and that's where the first non-blank value is still able to work in this scenario and you are able to see this value uh, uh, using the first non-blank value. So first non-blank value we have used. Now the final function which we have used is parallel period here in this one and the reason why we included parallel period is to showcase something different. It showcases how can we even debug some kind of functions and we have created few measures which are only for debugging and this is why the this is a particular property of parallel period uh, which we are going to identify today is which has forced us uh, to you know uh, debug it how actually it works. So we have taken this first major MTD pretty simple we have this month sales and we have used dates MTD going to give us monthly total because we are viewing by month. So this is not going to do till date because ultimately we are looking at the uh, complete month. So then we went ahead and parallel period and we say okay give us parallel period it takes date as a parameter. Uh, what should be the period we say minus one go month one month back and give us the month data so go one month back and give the parallel period data this is period is actually here there is no period other than this so it actually went ahead and given us this data fine we say okay fine go ahead and give 12 months back data very good 12 months back data so we got this month which is 12 months behind so we got this data in the January which is 12 months behind now when we have given this you say okay we can actually change it by a year why to give 12 months and then we all of a sudden got this number in January 14 and where is this number this doesn't look like anywhere and then all of a sudden we find oh this number has this number what is it is doing how it is getting this number so we went ahead and created two more majors out here and one of the major is you try to find out the minimum case. So this is the minimum date we got 1-1-2013. So then we went ahead and find out okay what is the max date we are getting. We are getting this as a max date. So, so we are getting this one as the start date and one is the end date. Okay. So we are getting complete year then what is the challenge. That's the challenge we are getting complete year. And in this year, where are you asking for MTD month till date? So the last date. We know from our blogs we have written when you give a date, the last date is the one from where this is built up. So uh, if calendar doesn't have a date, it takes the last date as the last date of the TD. So where is year till date or month till date, quarter till date. So this is the date it has taken. So so basically when you say parallel period and minus one complete year so you are actually saying get the complete parallel period one year of the period and that's where it has given one year of the period out here and this one year of period this is complete one year see even if you are putting it against this single month it's complete one year that's what you have asked for and that's where so you can't you have to go 12 months then you have to give 12 months back you can't say one year. So you got this complete months and your MTD is going to be, be taken on the last date and that's where you are getting the number. So the, so when you give this parallel period and you say okay I have given one, one year and I am still not getting understand this behavior and to understand this behavior we created these two majors so that we can understand better that you know these are the two dates we are getting and then we know the TD is going to take the end data from where 
it is going to build up the last month for MTD. So this is how it has actually built up. Okay. So now we know how it is building up the parallel period. We can use it with much more ease. Play around with go ahead and give quarters and all those. So what period is going to come out is um, is entirely dependent on how you are giving those parameters. So go ahead and use it. Let us know if you have more questions on this. Thank you.